hello guys and welcome to my channel and today we are starting an interesting lecture on calendar it is a mental ability chapter and we'll starting it just now so first tell, let us tell me a fact that the calendar we are talking about is the gregorian calendar there are two types of calendar the gregorian and the julian calendar the only difference between both are that in gregorian calendar there is centurion years which i will discuss in this video and in julian calendar there is no centurion year others both are solar calendar and that's all so gregorian calendar is accepted in most part of the world that's why we will be learning about the gregorian calendar so first from very basic we know that one week means seven days let me show you one page here one week equals to seven days and one month has 30 days at a standard rate otherwise we know that in one month there may be 30 31 29 28 days one year in normal year it is 365 days and in leap year it is 366 days so for starting this lecture we have to know a concept called odd days odd days odd you by name can understand the odd type of thing that is not similar to the others actually for odd days uh, in a week there is seven days so any number minus a multiple of seven is called the odd days for example in a period of 10 days 10 minus 7 means 3 odd days and in a period of 50 days there is 50 minus 49 49 is a multiple of 7 7 7 is a 49 so it will be one odd day so that's all odd day now let me show you one chart this chart is very important we know that in january there are 31 days in the month and so by subtracting a multiple of 7 we get 3 odd days like that i have prepared the chart and first 6 month we have break down it for first 6 month adding this all we get 13 for normal years and leap year there is 14 days so subtracting a multiple of 7 we get 6 odd days for normal year and 0 odd days for leap year and then next 6 part from here by adding we get 16 days it is for all, all type of years so there is 2 odd days in total in a normal year that is 365 days we have 1 odd day and in a leap year that is 366 days we have 2 odd days um, let me tell you that this difference is created because one year is not 365 days it is 365 and half days or a quarter day which can be told to be six hours so after every four years it six hours complete 24 hours six into four therefore this 24 hours is added to the february month that is for 29 days and this is why in leap year there is 366 days after that we can see the range of odd days we have tell that in an odd day we have to subtract a multiple of 7 therefore the range should be lower than 7 that is 0 to 6 and for the period of 0 the range of 0 to 6 there is the chart if the answer is zero then it will be a sunday for one it is monday two tuesday three wednesday four thursday five friday six saturday it's very easy to remember not any uh, bit of toughness now let us come to the topic that is centurion years or the century years century you know that is a period of hundred days or hundred is this a one century one century equals to hundred for century year if a century year is divided by 400 then only it will be a leap year so i have told that gregorian calendar has century years it means that 100 is not a leap year because 100 is not divided by 400 so 400 is a leap year but 100 200 300 are not leap year although they are divided by 4 because of this concept named century years now let's see why 100 has is not a leap year so 100 has normal year 76 days sorry 76 years and 24 leap year 76 is therefore 100 is not a leap year because of the century year concept 
after that there are 76 normal year means 76 odd days as we know that one odd day for normal year and 24 leap year means 24 into 2 that is 48 odd days because there are two odd days for leap year that's why we get 124 odd days in total but the range is 0 to 6 therefore we have to subtract now 7 into 17 multiplies to give the product 119 therefore 124 minus 119 gives 5 odd days and therefore we take 100 years there are 5 odd days 200 years are 3 odd days and 300 years 1 odd days 400 years 0 this is a cycle cycle of years or the odd days this cycle repeats for 500 years then it goes to first step that is 100 years and it becomes 5 then 603 701 and 800 again 0 so this cycle is also important you can derive this but it is better to remember for fast calculation so i hope it is clear for you all and this is all the fact and knowledge that you have to gather now we have come to one practice i will practice one question but you should practice many so for practice let's see the question it is 15 august 2000 they are written 2000 you can think that it is a leap year so for century years we will take zero but no any year what is written here is not completed see it is 15 august it is not completed so we have to take the previous year that is 1999 so for this there is the last leap year which is 1600 because 1900 is not divided by 400 as we learn in the century years so 16 from 0 to 1600 we have zero odd days because 1600 is a century year or leap year then we have 300 years that is 16 plus 300 1600 plus 300 makes 1900 therefore 300 we have to break the year the 300 gives one odd days as we learn in the cycle and 99 years in 99 when we split we have 24 leap years and 75 normal years including the 99 itself we have now 24 into 248 plus 75 that is 123 days odd days and we have four odd days by subtracting a multiple of seven so this sums to 5 odd days after that 2000 is a leap year as it is divided by 400 now from january to june if it is a leap year then the sum makes 0 odd days and from there is after 0 means after june there is july then august therefore july has 3 odd days see this table it is very important so we take 3 and it makes 3 odd days in total we have 8 odd days after that we will take the 15 days therefore it is 15 days so we must subtract 14 that is 7 to the 14 so it gives 1 odd day after adding all this we have 9 odd days and 9 can't be an odd day because 0 to 6 is the range therefore we have to subtract a multiple of 7 we have subtracted 7 to the 7 it gives 2 odd days and 2 means we know that is it is a Tuesday so 15 August 2000 is Tuesday. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and had learned something interesting and new. So please subscribe my channel and like this video and share with your friends. Thank you. Have a nice day.